everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm really excited to be able to present to you Flix AI functionalities that we've been working on over the last couple of months. So the team has been working really hard on helping you solve three different areas of your social media workflow through AI. That's brainstorming ideas and helping you come up with creative content ideas for your social media. The second is helping you turn those content ideas into really engaging social media posts across your different socials. And thirdly, it's helping you take existing content such as your blog posts and turning those into bite-sized social media posts. So with that in mind, let's jump into each of these tools and see how you can use those to streamline your social media process and hopefully save many, many hours. To make this walkthrough a little bit more lifelike, I'm going to imagine that I'm an indoor plant shop owner. And um, this particular week or this particular two weeks, I'm really focusing on selling my indoor plants to pet owners. Um, and obviously pet owners will have their own challenges and problems when it comes to uh, decorating their, their uh, indoor spaces, um, especially when it comes to dogs. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is try and find ideas to market uh, on social media to um, pet owners, specifically with dogs. And uh, on my channel, uh, on my social media channels, I have a lot of educational content. Um, I find that that works really, really well. Um, so in this case, I'm going to end tips for growing indoor plants for dog owners. I'm going to press enter. And what's happening at this stage is Flix AI is currently looking for different ways you could potentially tackle uh, this topic. So we're not yet expecting post ideas, but what we're really expecting is what you could call creative directions, different angles to tackle um, this particular topic. Okay, and here we go. We've been given four suggestions on ways we could tackle uh, the topic we entered. So the first really focuses on uh, just basic tips and tricks for growing plants with pets. The second is around uh, toxic plants um, that we want to avoid. Um, and then the uh, the second, the third and fourth one um, are still relevant to indoor plants, but they're not so relevant for what we want to do. So we're going to stick to the first two. And now at this stage, what we're asking the AI to do is to expand on these angles to tackle the topic we entered and really turn those into refined individual post ideas, which we can later take and, um, and write out uh, or produce. Okay, so over here we've got um, under protecting your pet toxic uh, indoor plants to avoid. Uh, here we go, we've got 10 common indoor plants that are toxic to pets, that's perfect. What to do if your pet ingests a toxic plant, that's also great. Um, pet safe alternatives to popular indoor plants, that's amazing. So I really like these um, three ideas here. Um, I can also um, go on to the next sort of angle that will create a direction that we um, chose and I'm also given um, four post ideas here. Um, but for now I'm just gonna stick um, to these ones. I'm gonna add those to my panel. So now that I've found these three ideas for my upcoming content, I can use Flick's second AI tool to help me turn those from ideas into well-crafted, engaging social media posts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up and you can see uh, the AI has automatically filled in the, the title and the post topic um, based on what was suggested um, in the brainstorming tool. So all I need to do at this stage is choose the length of my post, um, whether uh, well, the writing style, so um, informative, conversational, narrative, analytical. Um, I have quite a conversational page, so I'm going to stick with that. And the point of view is written in, so first, second, third person. I typically write in the second person um, for this particular account. Um, what I can also do um, is uh, choose to include any particular, what we call content blocks. So I could tell the AI assistant that I really want my caption to have a list, for example. And here that probably makes sense because um, I'm making posts about the 10 common indoor parts, right? So it really lends itself well uh, to a list. And here I'm going to hit on generate caption. So the AI is going to take all of this into account. Um, it's going to do the research for you as well um, when it comes to uh, the 10 indoor plants um, that are toxic to pets. I'm obviously not actually an indoor plant store owner. Um, and if I wanted to make this post, I would have to do all the research um, to go with um, with a poster, i.e. what are the top 10 indoor plants that are toxic to pets. Um, and in this case, um, the AI also does the research and then writes um, an engaging caption um, for us. So here we go. Um, as you can see, um, we have a few emojis. Um, they're by default. If you like them, you can keep them. If you don't, you can easily remove them. Uh, we've got a really good hook. Um, to start with, attention pet parents. Uh, did you know that um, some common indoor plants can be toxic to your fur babies? Um, awesome. Um, it's got a bit, little bit of personality as well. Um, and then here we go. we've got our list here. Don't stress though. We'll provide information on symptoms to watch out for um, and suggest pet safe alternatives. Check out the link device. And then we've got a CTA, which of course you can change. And a few hashtags as well um, to go um, with it. So this is all really good, um, but it's maybe a little bit too sassy for me, for my audience. So what I can now do um, is I can use these tools over here to really craft the caption um, into um, something that's just been generated as a one-off from the AI into something that really, really fits my brand. So I'm going to hit on adjust tone. Um, and instead of it, I don't really want it to be too sassy or anything like that. Um, in fact, um, I might want it to be a little bit more, um, let's say, um, professional uh, just in, in this case and what's going to happen is this is now going to be rewritten in a more professional tone um keeping the same structure so nothing's going to change in terms of the structure or the format and the only thing that's going to change is really the, the vocabulary that's used uh, to make sure that this sounds more like professional um, um post rather than um something that's a little bit sassy um and has a lot of character um and uh, a professional page wouldn't really be referring to dogs as fur babies but they might be referring to them as beloved pets um so we go
perfect. Uh, this is much better. I can also shorten it, lengthen it, um, or um, we can use this magic wand. Uh, you can see the refine action is sort of this magic wand where you can enter anything you want. It can be as simple as more rebellious or less playful as an instruction, or um, something really complicated, like um, a really specific, like for example, um, add a five word description of each of the plants. And actually, I'm going to put a five word visual description so that people also know what these toxic plants look like um, of each of the plants. Oops, uh, missed it. Um, so really what you can see the refine function as is as if you're working with your assistant, a real life assistant, and you're giving it uh, him or her feedback um, on the initial draft of the caption that they made. And you can say, okay, this is good, this, is, this isn't so good. And um, can you add this, can you remove that? Um, can you change the style? Anything you want, any instruction that you could give to uh, uh, a real life uh, assistant uh, to, as feedback to an uh, initial draft, you can give to our AI as well. And here we go. We've got a visual um, description here, and I could go back and say, you know what, that's not long enough. Give me an even longer description, a visual description. Um, it will also do that. Cool. Um, now, what we've got below here um, are different ways to essentially repurpose what we've just come up with at the top for different social media platforms. So TikTok are very uh, short captions. So if I click this, this will be rewritten in a very short, succinct way for caption that you can imagine will accompany your TikTok video. Um, you can also do the same for LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter threads, single tweets. Or um, if you're looking to actually create a carousel post off of this, um, you can click this and the uh, AI will give you um, headers and subheaders as well as a visual guide um, for each of the slides of your carousel. Um, and finally, what you can also do is ask the AI to generate a short real TikTok video script. Um, so if you wanted to turn this idea into um, a real or TikTok, um, the, uh, the AI can generate a video script for you. And again, we'll break it down scene by scene um, to um, help you produce that video content a little bit more efficiently and give you a base um, off of which um, to start with. So again, um, just here to give you an example, the carousel will give you each slide um, what it might look like. So here we've got the first slide, we'll have a hook, are your indoor, uh, indoor plants uh, pet friendly? Um, a visual, and then each of the other slides will give you a hook and a subtitle. And again, you can use all these functions here to, um, to spice up or, or re-refine that caption, or sorry, in this case, the carousel, to fit your needs. That leaves us with the content repurposing tool as the final AI tool I want to showcase in this video. Now, currently, the content repurposing tool only supports uh, blog content as an input. That means it will only allow you to input a blog um, and then get social media posts as an output. However, the vision for this tool uh, is to really allow you to enter different types of contents, such as uh, uh, podcasts or YouTube videos, um, and turn those into a set of social media posts of different formats. So reels, TikToks, carousels, single posts, tweets, um, all of those different formats will be supported um, in the future. So what I'm going to do at this point is go to FixBlog and I'm just going to copy the link uh, to our latest blog post around tips and tricks um, for social media writing. And you can see over here, this blog post basically talks about why writing good social media content is important, how um, does uh, great social media writing increase ROI, tips and tricks on writing engaging content and um, different writing tools. Uh, and what you could actually see is manually, you could take each of these headers and turn those into social media posts. And what the AI tool is essentially going to do is streamline that process for you. So I've just copy pasted the URL into um, into the content repurposing tool. And what it's currently doing now is it's analyzing the blog post, understanding what the different topics um, that are covered are, and it's going to create three or four uh, different uh, suggestions for um, post ideas that we can obviously turn into engaging social media posts. So over here, we've got capturing attention and building relationships, writing good social media content and branding and driving traffic. So let's go with writing good social media content. As you can see, it's suggested a post topic for us, for the importance of writing good social media content, making your brand look professional, increasing growth and reach, uh, growth and reach mastering the art of engaging copy and effective CTAs. So again, I'm going to go through the same process and add a list, make it informative, second person. I'm going to hit generate caption. And what we're going to get as an output is um, a engaging social media post that's been taken from one of the topics covered in the blog post and turned uh, um, into, as I said, an, an engaging social media post. And here we go. Now, before finishing this video, I want to quickly run you through some of the improvements we have planned for AI functionality over the next couple of months. So to start with, one of the key improvements we want to make is make it easier for you to find content ideas uh, using Flix AI. Uh, currently, uh, the brainstorming flow I showed you today is great for educational content. However, uh, it needs to be improved um, for uh, non-educational content, and we need to find alternative ways to be able to provide you uh, with um, post ideas, not just relying um, on the brainstorming flow I showed you today. And the second key area um, for us to focus on um, is around helping you repurpose content of all types, so not just blog content, but also um, long-form video content um, and um, podcasts. Um, and finally, we want to improve the amount of context uh, or increase the amount of context that uh, our AI system has um, about your brand, about the type of posts you make. Um, and what that will help us do is really fine tune the outputs um, for the captions, for the ideas we suggest um, to your brand and to the particular social uh, that you're posting to. And uh, what that will mean is the uh, initial generations or the initial post ideas that we provide will be a lot more relevant uh, to your brand. Um, and the posts that we write or generate will, be, will sound a lot more uh, like your brand um, from the first draft. And finally, um, over the course of the next few months, we'll also be looking at uh, potentially uh, how we can uh, generate um, 
visual social media posts, so carousels, single posts, um, social media images through AI um, automatically uh, to accompany all the post ideas and captions that we generate, um, as well as um, how we can potentially help you generate your content calendars uh, with the help of AI um, two weeks or a month ahead of time um, and really help you streamline the planning uh, side of your social media workflow. Finally, if you have any feedback or requests, you can leave them here uh, at https.flip.cam.io. Um, thank you so much for taking time to watch this video, and I hope you find a lot of value in these talks. See you soon.